So I'm taking apart this um, compressor heat pump based uh, cooler that has active cooling. Um, and as you can see, about half of the volume of the thing is the compressor and so forth, so you give up that much. But it will maintain the cold as long as you give it power. Um, and the advantage of the compressor, of course, over the Peltier ones is that it's more energy efficient. It's like two or three times the BTUs per um, watt. Um, the disadvantage is that they're more expensive to buy. But I'll turn it apart anyway. Um, one, to you know, kind of see how, how they have it all set up and so forth. And two, I might want to try to reuse this um, heat pump. Now, the other thing that's interesting, I was thinking that they were going to have the coils kind of like on one side facing. But it turns out this entire cavity that you're putting your cooler stuff into is actually the uh, heat exchanger. It comes in and then it traces around. I don't know how well you can see that, but it traces around a path, comes back, traces around a path, and comes back, and then up here, and then there's these two separate, uh, there's an input and an output, um, two separate lines that come in on this one tube over here. Um, so they just kind of took this whole thing and they curved and they curved it around and they put three rivets in it, which is interesting. Uh, the whole thing was packed in this um, liquid expanding foam, which sealed up everything and has been a royal pain in the ass to try to clean it out of. But if it all comes out and works well, then I'll be able to reuse it. Um, in the process, because I originally, like I said, thought it was going to be over here, I did ac accidentally cut down into this a little bit, but it doesn't look like I've hit any of the uh, um, coolant path. But I'll double check it here a little later.